In this video, we're going to see how to create a grip texture uh, on your object, so on a specific surface. So we're going to use Grasshopper for this. So the first thing we want to do is to uh, reference this surface. So I'm going to extract this surface here and then in Grasshopper, I will add a surface. I'll then set one surface. So this surface will be referenced and I'll hide it, hide this one. Then I'm going to divide this surface with points, basically. Um, so I'm going to go into surface utility and then I'm going to use divide surface here. So here I'm going to link surface to my new component and you see that my surface has points now and I can add more points by using the U and the V count. So if I do this and this, you see that I can add um, different counts. I have uh, points on which uh, I can assign geometry. So if I want, I can add a sphere, for example. So I'm going to add a sphere going to take a bit of time and it's going to uh, create uh, spheres on those points. So I can change the radius. So let's say I want a three or what, two millimeter radius here. So I'll link this here and you see that now I have uh, bigger uh, spheres. So there are two issues here. Um, so the first one being that um, as you see, there are some spheres which are going very close to the edge. So it's, um, it's not looking great. You can delete them manually, but there is a better way. So actually the thing you can do is to offset boundary of this surface and then cut this surface with it and then create a grid of point on this surface. So uh, to do this, I'm going to disconnect or to unenable this uh, component because it takes a lot of resources. And then I'm going to use the offset on surface here and uh, that you can actually find here. And I'm going to use this surface here. So I'm going to link my surface. And then for the curve, I will just extract the curve from my surface. So I'll read, I will unhide it. So I'll show it and then I will duplicate the edge here. Now that I have this curve, I'm going to, in Grasshopper, I'll reference it, so curve, and then I'll do set one curve, and I'll link the curve here. And here for distance, um, so I'm going to put, uh, let's say three, but you see that it's not uh, working and it's because it's going further in this direction. So you want to go on the other side, on the other direction. So the easiest way to do is to right click on distance and in expression to uh, to edit the expression with minus X. So all the information that's going to come in is going to be put as a negative uh, number. So if you do this, then you can see there is a line here and uh, that you can change. And then um, you're going to use this curve to actually trim your surface. So you are going to use uh, fragments, I think it's called. I've never remembered the name of this. I think it's in surface or intersection. And if you go into physical, you can do surface split. Yeah, the result is fragments, but the actual name of the component is surface split. So you put this curve and then you put this surface and you will end up having two, um, two results. So you only, only want one. So you in order to select the one you want, you go into a list item and then you're going to put your list. Your list is actually the result of the fragment and the index will be either zero, either one. So if you put index here and you select this, you will see that if you change from zero to one, it will actually select a different surface. So actually I'm going to hide this, hide this. So now I'm going to, I'm going to use this surface uh, for this component. So I'm going to link it here. And uh, you see that, okay, now I can put more points, but whatever the amount of point I've put, uh, it's never going to go further than this distance. And actually you can change this like this. So let's come back to a lower number because when I've put the sphere, it's more time to process if um, there are more, more points. Let's come back on it. And then if I do this and I do enable, if I go, if I do bake and I group everything and then I will show the initial 
surface. So let's say I duplicate this. What do I do with this? Well, what I can do is simply do a Boolean operation and it's going to uh, create the texture. But the thing is this protrudes a bit too much. Uh, and I want those spheres to actually only have a tiny bit inside them um, uh, going outside the surface. So I will have to move all those uh, points in one direction, but uh, it's going to be a different direction for all the spheres. And this direction will be the normal at which they are on the surface. So then in order to move uh, those spheres inside or outside, depending on the result you want to do, uh, we're going to use a normal here for each of those spheres. So, so I'm going to create to use a move tool, the move component, and I'm going to move those spheres here. So this will be the geometry that I'll put after. And the motion is going to be a vector made of this normal and a number that will be the amount of millimeter that my spheres are going to move. So if I go into vector and I do vector amplitude i can set a vector so normal the normals are already in a vector and then i can set an amount to my to my vector so here let's put point 1.5 so that i can precisely move it and i put this and then the motion the vector will be the motion here and the spheres are going to be the geometry so you see that they moved and if I move this, it's moving towards towards us, so apart from the away from the surface. And actually, if I put this slider, go inside the surface. So I can say that the minimum is going to be minus one, and the maximum actually minus two, and the maximum is going to be two. So if I do this, you see that it goes inside or outside. So I'm going to hide those one, and then um, I'm going to look closer to, to the spheres, and I'll bring this closer here, and then here, and you see the result. I'm going to uh, bake it, group it, yes, uh, let's delete this one here, and then I can uh, simply uh, do a Boolean operation go into rendered can add something else which is a fillet 0.2 say 0.2 works 